Hello everybody, Dr. Darok here, and welcome back to Let's Play Tech It Legends. Now, on today's episode, we're going to be continuing in the vein of previous episodes with a particular focus on the raising of bees. So, if that sounds like something that you want to be your beeswax, then make it your beeswax by watching this video. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button, too. Okay, so, let's get started. Without further ado, actually, there's one slight bit of further ado. You see this thing right here in the middle of the screen? I'm circling with my cursor. I'm not really sure what that is. It's like a mirage or something. If I start moving this way, it, like, disappears. And I don't know what it is. Um, so, if anyone can shed some insight into what that might be... What is that? I'm here in the end so that I can pick up some of these ender hives and get some of these. I'm not sure if there's any way to reproduce these should I um, screw up and waste them, but I think that there's only these two. I don't think there are any others here for me to collect. So, oh, there's one more, actually. Two more. Oh, well, you see, that's what I get. That's what, that's what you'd get if you just listened to, if you just took my word for it. Here's what I've got. I've got uh, one, two, three Ender Princesses, four, four Ender Princesses, and four Ender Drones, three Mysterious Combs. Okay, now what I can do with these is um, hopefully here, let's see, I can do bee breeding with uh, some other types of bees. So I just wanted to like get these, hold on, yeah. So bee breeding, I can breed these ender drones with um, spectral or hermetic princesses to make spectral or phantasmal. So I could make phantasmal queens by breeding... How, why is that a queen? Why does that say queen? Should it be a queen? I'm not really sure. Diurnal, nocturnal. Oh well. Anyways. Um, these mysterious combs, when placed through the centrifuge, can um, give they give pulsating propolis, which I need for pulsating mesh, which can be turned into ender pearls. So I don't really need it that much, honestly. But there are other things that they can do that's more interesting, I think. Well, at least the fact that they can breed, I, at, at the very least, is kind of interesting to me, because um, I didn't even know that that was a thing up until moments ago, minutes ago, something. Anyways, um, it doesn't appear like the Ender Princesses are very good for mutating at all. They don't seem to... So, here's what I want. I want, um, let's see, Hermetic can make Spectral, and Spectral can make Phantasmal. So, I guess I'm going to want to figure out how to get Hermetic, Monastic, and Secluded. Oh my. So this looks like a long process if I want to get some of those. Um, let's just go for monastic. How can I get mon monastic princess? I can't. Okay. Well then. Um, secluded seems to be monastic. What is monastic? Where is that? Um, where can I find those? Anyone? I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm not too sure about this whole bees things yet. This whole bees thing yet, guys. I really, uh, I'm having such a hard time. Right now, I've got some, like, frame rate lag. So I'm sorry if you guys are noticing that in the um, final produced video. Uh, but, yeah, right now I'm having some frame rate lag. Let's see here. I'm just going to put all these ender bees on the last page because I can never use them. And let's see here. Let's put these through the centrifuge. Also, I got one of these crystalline pollen clusters. I'm not sure what this does, but I think it's for mutating trees. And so, I'm gonna, like, put this, like, here. Do I do, I do this? Do I put it in the leaves? Am I confused? Am I, I'm very confused. I'm very, very confused. Can I put that through the bealizer and it'll tell me what it does? Like, please? No. Apparently not. Um, okay. So that's not how that works. What is this? Hello? Who do you think you are? 
die. <laughs> uh, great. Okay, I feel like I'm making no progress very quickly. Um, so why don't I just pick a bee, like um, the forest bee, that I know is going to work in this area. Let's see, forest queen. There we go. Sure, that works. Works for me. Um... And then I think I'm going to go with wintry drones, but I think I'm going to go with the batch that I got from the forest, um, from the forest bee, which is like these ones. Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to just like breed some bees like crazy. Um, and I'm hoping that I'm hoping that I get the hang of this because I'm really I really don't want to like I really don't want to say nah bees are for the birds but you know at a certain point you have to get something useful out of this or is the very act of doing it the useful thing about it perhaps the actual benefit of bees is the is the time you spend breeding them and not the material gains that you get from performing said breeding. Okay, so I got another forest princess. Let's go ahead and do some more breeding here and just let this stuff happen. And it's it's got they these bees have a very accelerated life cycle compared to what it would normally be. Uh <laughs> bee. Um but yeah, that's pretty awesome. I'm actually really happy that Brian suggested the dark matter pedestal and um clock because I had not thought of it personally so thank you for that cool tip uh, because it's really made things go much quicker so let's go ahead and put some uh, honey drops in here and check this out so shorter slowest slower flowers fertility 2 XB I don't know what that really means but territory is 9 by 6 by 9 oh so territory must be the radius around the um, around the uh, apiary or bee hut or whatever oh, okay now is this gonna be the same this is pristine stock this is ignoble stock and they are the same on everything except for whether they're pristine or ignoble. So what is the difference? Can someone give me a better explanation? I really don't understand that. Um, however, what I do understand is that I've just got another Meadows Princess and a dr Meadows Drone and a Marshy Drone. So that's kind of cool. Um, so let's take a look here. I want this Meadows Princess... I want to analyze it. Uh, it seems to have, let's see here. It's got flowers, shorter life, slowest worker, normal, both one, normal, none, meadows, marshy hybrid. Oh, it says that it's a meadows, marshy hybrid. That's interesting. That's very interesting. So now what if I take that one and instead of combining it with another marshy princess, I go back, or marshy drone, I go back to the wintry drones. So let's do a wintry, let's do wintry drones here. This one is my hybrid. So we'll let that work and see how, see what it does. Um, and see how the interaction plays out. I don't know, that's interesting though. Um, let's put these away. And what does this do? What's up with this one? This marshy drone that I got uh, from breeding here. It's got marshy and meadows, um, but it has, let's see here, shorter life, slowest worker, normal, both one, damp, slash none. Okay, so it needs damp, because it's marshy, I guess, um, and flowers. So this does its best work in damp areas. Hello, come back here. I need you. I need you. Uh-huh. All right. Well, guys, I did not achieve anything of note today other than going to the end and getting some end bees. But 
that is just how it goes sometimes. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you saw here today, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. It's falling time! Let's fall. Oh, right. The shoes. Yes, I don't fall that quickly. Um, let's uh, get over some land here and hold shift. Instantly fall. Yes. I know that wasn't much of a fall. You didn't get to see the fall. It was more like an instant teleportation to the ground. But yeah, that's just what you got to deal with sometimes, I guess. So anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Look at that. I got a marshy princess. Huh. That's cool. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook or Twitter if you want to. And I will catch you guys next time.